All right, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is where you may be. We're going to look at part number six today of the Must Learn KQL series. So we're going to look at the interface. Uh, as usual, go back through all these blog posts for Rod uh, that Rod Trent has produced. He knows more about this stuff than I do. He's probably forgotten more KQL this morning than I know. So he's hitting details I'm not. Over to the interface. So I have some notes here on my left hand screen just to make sure I don't miss anything. But let's just generally walk through it as a query. So if I'm running this basic query and just follow my mouse here to orient yourself. So I'm looking at security events for the last four hours. All right, so first off here, let's take a look at filter. So if you look down on the results, um, column header here, you can see this little filter or funnel. Click on that. You have all kinds of options here. So if I wanted to uh, pare this down to accounts for DC00, I could hit filter and there you go. Now you know there's a filter on because it comes highlighted. If I want to take it off, click it, clear it. Uh, sorting results is as easy as clicking on the, the column header. You see this little blue arrow, it's telling you ascending or descending. And you can do that for pretty much every column. Grouping results. First, you got to turn on the group column uh, button here. And let's say I want to group by the account. Then I can just slide up whatever. And if I want to do multiple groups, then I can do this just by sliding up other column headers. And if I click on here, I can actually change the grouping from ascending to descending. So if I want to clear those, just hit the little X, turn off the grouping. Um, columns. So this view that you see as default here is uh, generated by Sentinel or Log Analytics. It basically cuts out anything that doesn't have data in it and gives you what Sentinel thinks that you should be looking at or may be most useful to. So if you want to turn on all the columns or look for a specific one, hit the little column button here. And as you can see, some of these are have a check mark. Some of them don't. So there are plenty of other columns available for this particular table. It's just a matter of what you want to look at. Time range, you've seen this in um, previous videos. These are 24 hours is the default. If you want to set a custom time range, if you're, you have logs from way back, you can go back here and do that. I'm not going to do it because it's going to take forever to run. Uh, charting, if I like this, um, these results and I want to put them in a chart, just hit the chart button. And it's going to think for a second. And it's still thinking. There it goes. Took a second. Now if I want to change what kind of chart this is, the display of it, I can hit the two arrow keys here. And then change my x-axis or what kind of particular chart it is, whatever you want to do. Saving the queries. Now you can see here the save button. It's grayed out because I don't have proper, what am I looking for? Pro I don't have proper permissions on this workspace. So, but you would have other options here on your particular workspace, provided you have the correct permissions. Share, 
you can copy a link to this particular query. So if you want to send it to somebody, copy the actual text, so the query itself, or copy the results, and then dump it in Teams or wherever you want to dump it. Formatting. So you don't have to worry about where you put these things. I could do this all in one line and then hit the Format Query button and it'll take it uh, down to a nice format. So if I put extra spaces in there and it looks kind of wonky, hit the Format Query, it'll format it for you. Query examples. So the Query button here is going to give you some various queries that are prepackaged in here. I'm trying to think of one. Well, let's just do... See, I can load this in the editor and that's what this query looks like. It didn't bring back any results, but you get the idea. Another way you can do this is Query Explorer. I don't know what's going on here, but you can see this gives you whatever that particular query was. Alert rules, this is not going to work, but you can create mo Azure Monitor or uh, Sentinel alert rules. You will see that it gives me a uh, an error because I'm in a demo environment here. Alright, so now I'm back on my workspace. After that error code, I had to come back out and navigate back to it. So you have some export options here. Export it to a CSV display. You would have other options if I had the proper permissions to this workspace. If I get some kind of cool query I might want to look at on the dashboard, I can pin it to the dashboard with some uh, some options, private or public, and you can see that in in Rod's blog post. The basic settings icon, the little gear right here, will give you settings for uh, this workspace. Some basic settings. I don't have permissions, so I can't see that. The um, UI reference, this will take you to some official documentation for Log Analytics Community Forum, the repo, Etc. Etc. And the last thing the last thing tabs. So if I wanted to work on a couple different iterations of a specific query, I can create tabs here and go back and forth and run what I want to run. So that's the basic workspace or the basic interface. Appreciate you following along and thanks for watching.